This presentation is inspired in the Yellow Book, which is a classical reference in IMS. I'd like to thank the authors of that Yellow Book, Gonzalo Camarillo and Miguel Martin, for their comments on how to teach IMS to my engineering students. All the same, I'd like to thank you, my colleague and friend Javier San Blasco, now in Telefonica, for his inspiring suggestions on how to handle the next generation networks concepts. Well, let's go on. IMS is close related to broadband mobile communications. Indeed, the standard is pushed by the international standardization groups for 3G and 4G mobile communications. Nevertheless, since IMS is a technology prepared for the convergence paradigm, it is suited for fixed networks as well. IMS allows rich communication services. All the communication you need is in your pocket. IMS was born to be an open protocol. That's why it is inspired in classical Internet protocols. The reason is that next generation applications and services need that many software engineers can develop applications that take into consideration the IMS capabilities. So that as Internet is the most extended protocol, it's also the most suited for such a revolution in telecommunication services. In the past years, there has been a discussion about the need of a network architecture like IMS. Many detractors said that the new telecom services only needed huge transmission pipes, but not the network intelligence of IMS. In fact, current telecom services like Sky, for example, assume that there is only an anarchic cloud called the Internet, which works on a best effort basis. And so application developers have to deal with a non-predictable quality of service. This is the OTT philosophy. Mm, OTT stands for over the top. OTT services are, for example, Skype or Internet television. But why do operators need IMS? Uh, well, operators can aspire to have the control over the business only if there is a kind of circuit switched operation. That's the reason why they are so interested in a technology like IMS. Because if there is not such circuit switched architecture, the business winners are the content providers like Google. This is why operators should push IMS since it is a packet switched technology. The internet we need is packet switched, but at the same time allows to build a service portfolio similar to the profitable circuit switched world. Of course, there are also the reasons why simple broadband internet is not enough apart from the quality of service issue. The most important are two. First one is charging. That is to set pricing strategies based on actual services delivered. If a service brings more added value to the customer, probably they will pay more for it. And second one is the integration of services from different vendors into a unique service packet. That way the operator would become the distributor of many value added services. Of course, multimedia services can be offered without an IMS network. By IMS has the advantage that it can easily integrate several independent services in the same user session. For example, 
a service could display on the screen uh, the email discussions or the relevant information with the person that is calling me at this moment. 